I'm Manas Karki um, from Washington State University, Center for Precision and Automated Agricultural Systems. Uh, today we are here in an orchard evaluating one of our uh, applications for estimating apple crop load and we're hoping that this will be a very f efficient, useful tool for growers in the future to use in, in this kind of setting to get a sense of how much crop they have this year. Uh, we have a quick application that we have developed for this. Uh, this is not the the best application out there yet. Um, works in Android right now, but because we are just testing our system right now, this uh, gives us an um, a tool to to do that. Uh, we have functionalities to open camera, and then what it does is that you can you can point it to your trees and take pictures like this and which um, are then uploaded to a server running somewhere in this case uh, right now it is running at our center there is a big uh, server computer with where we can send the pictures and processed to find out apples and their sites and that information is sent back to the application and we uh, use that to display the results and circle the apples and also count how many apples are there um, ideally what we want to do is that use this system and scan a tree like this up to the top and then it will automatically give give you back how many apples are there in that tree and then if we take in, enough samples that could be 5% or 2% of the trees in an orchard, this should theoretically ideally give you a very good estimation of your expected crop load. Last year we did this uh, in this particular block for three rows, about half, a, half an acre or something like that, and our uh, estimation accuracy was more like 95%, a little bit more than that. Uh, we did a blind estimation certainly. Our app um, and our uh, program estimated the crop load first, and then we got the number from our collaborator uh, after packing the fruit in the packing house. And we exchanged the results. It, was very close to each other so we're really happy and excited and we're repeating that process again this year right at the same orchard here that we're seeing uh, so that we can see multi-year estimation and see how close we are year after year.